Hello everybody, this is Lilium and in this video I'm going to show you how to get this really romantic, flirty, Valentine's Day look. So even if you have someone special or if you don't, this look would be great for any going out type of date or even for a party. So. The reason why I'm doing this is because some of you asked to see this look that I did. Um, not with the lips, but the eyes are quite similar to the eyes I have in the my um, Salon Sen makeup roleplay video. So I thought that I owed it to some of you girls to show you how I did the makeup. So, I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. And I'll see. I have zero makeup on right now, and I'm looking really pale and <laughs> dead. So, um, and also just colored my hair, so don't mind if my roots are a little like dark. And <laughs> um, yeah, simply because I just colored it yesterday. So, first things first, let's get. If you have long hair like myself, it um, usually tends to flutter everywhere, so your hairband is your best friend. Super duper. So, now let's get started with um, the makeup. And I usually, I just have to show it, um, I usually got this new bag from my boyfriend. Um, has a pink bottom and it has this um, fabric on here. I don't think it's real leather but it's very cool at the back and I thought it makes some really nice sounds. Um, and scratch your nails on it. enough ASMR stuff. That's not what we're here for. Or some of you may. <laughs> um, but the first thing that I'm gonna start with is a concealer. And this is basically just to, you know, um, conceal all my imperfections such as my dark circles. You cannot really see them here um, around my nose around my mouth and a bit in my forehead. The brand of the concealer I'm using here is a Danish brand called um, Nilensjor or um, Earth of the Nile. I think it's called in English, I don't know, since it's not English, it's Danish. But I use the liquid concealer and just dabbing a few dots under my eyes. And also over here. And nose. You know when you see all those makeup gurus on YouTube, like just <laughs> doing this with perfection. I I find it really hard. Excuse me. And then you just blend away. Be careful not to, you know press too hard or drag your skin too much um, it can contribute to premature wrinkles and we don't want that at all so once everything is blended thoroughly you are gonna rip out your foundation the one I'm using here is called it's Origins Focus. <laughs> called Stay Tuned uh, and it has, you know, has no parabens, no perfumes, no nothing. So um, it's really good. I like it. I've been using it for quite a quite a while now. Never had any trouble with it. A dime size about this uh, big can literally cover your entire face so you don't need to have that much to cover your face 
and some of you girls may neglect your jawline and your neck but believe me it will look stupid even if the color is um, you know even if it is a color that resembles your normal skin tone people will be able to tell if you have that awkward line of makeup just stopping right here and it looks ridiculous <laughs> um, I've done it a couple of times myself and people would just like are you wearing foundation cuz it shows <laughs> and you don't want your makeup to show you just want it to be very natural looking um, so blending is key to a natural look and now for the last step of the for the face <laughs> um, is basically to just take any kind of loose uh, powder it can be translucent, it can be colored whatever you prefer just take your brush give it a good swirl and you're basically gonna set your makeup I usually do it under the eyes and on my nose around my nose and my cheeks and my forehead just lightly dusting it everywhere so that the makeup doesn't smudge because that would be awkward especially if you're going on a date or anything you know since I'm gonna be wearing eyeshadow and that jazz I'm gonna prime my eyes and this is the Lumi Magic um, primer by L'Oreal and you basically only need a blob at the size of a grain of rice you don't need much to cover basically this will cover my lid one of my lids and just take it like this and you just slowly dab it on and of course do the same for your other eye So the next part I'm going to use is this white titanium shimmering eyeshadow. So now you can take the color on your finger, make sure your finger is clean before you do that, and just dab it on your eyes. And we're going to use it as a wash, um, as an undertone for the next color we're gonna put on there. So just blend it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna break out my um, the Smoky Brown palette by Rimmel. And I'm gonna select the, the bronze color. And then I'm just gonna take it and start contouring my eye and just follow the the socket of your eye and follow the you know where your your eyeball is around your eyeball and just keep blending it until you're happy with how it looks very good now Moving on to the glittery stuff. <laughs> um, this one is um, Effect Powder by Gosh in gold. Start dabbing it onto your eyelid. Just get it all around there in the corners, in the middle and just stop and you know, blend it up with, at the, with the, contour, the contour line you've made just dab it along and you can basically build it up until you're happy with um, the shimmer for me, I really like shimmer <laughs> That's it for glitter, so now let's move on to 
your brows. I'm going to select the darkest brown and combine it with a bit of the copper color. I'm going to start from the inner corners of my eyebrows and work my way out. Look at the difference it makes. This one over here basically matches my hair a lot better. And show your other brows and love too. So right now I'm pretty happy with my brows. And we're gonna move on to liquid eyeliner. I'm using one by Rimmel called It's Exaggerate. But you can use any kind of liquid um, liquid eyeliner you start by in here and gradually swipe it over as close to the lash line as possible And you may say we just keep going in there with this until you have a, a slight cat eye that you're happy about. So this is my finished cat eye look. But you can basically do it any way you want. You can do it shorter, you can do it longer, <laughs> anything you like. Just remember to do your other, other eye in the same style as she just did with the first one. And now for the last step, false lashes. Take out your lash glue. I'm using one called Duo, Duo Last Lash Glue. <laughs> and basically just apply a little bit on the lash. I'm just gonna show it. A good way to apply the glue, which I found, so that you don't do like this, which actually happened to me a couple of minutes ago trying to do this, but I forgot how I usually do it, and it's just to take some of the glue on my knuckle, like this, and then you can easily take your lash and swipe it across like this, so you get a finely distributed line of glue all over the lash, like so. So we're gonna leave this to dry for about 20 seconds, and you're just gonna pop it on. So now the glue has started to become a bit transparent that means that it's ready to use. So it's just gonna try and pop it on, you know, in the middle of my lid. Hold it there for a little bit. And wait for it to stick. And just try and lurk it around there and get it to stick to your eyelid. And this is basically what you'll end up with. These lashes are actually not that good. They're kind of old. Um, but it's just to show you what it would look like. And now your eyes are almost done. The only thing we have left is actually to show, to show your bottom lashes some extra attention. We don't want the eyes to be too top heavy since these lashes are kind of huge. <laughs> and now comb your bottom lashes. So right now you have a better idea of what the eyes look like on a distance. And as you can see, they're still very big. You can sense the eyelashes even when being a little um, a little distance away you can see that the eyes just pop and 
that's really what I, I like. If you prefer, you can um, select a, a rouge for your cheeks to make it look like you're blushing a little bit. And that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna swipe it on the apples of my cheeks to make it look, you know, more romantic. So if I'm blushing, and because this is Valentine's, uh, soon it's Valentine's Day, I wanted to finish it off with this really girly pink um, lip color or lip gloss. <laughs> and I can take it out. So here is your completed Valentine's Day slash romantic look. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in another video guys.